All right, guys, I'm going to zoom in on my barbecue sauce, which I have on a slow bubble over there in the pot. It's the same uh, sauce mixture that I showed you how to make in our beer balls recipe, but uh, the reason I'm cooking it down is because I'm going to use it for, as a glaze for our swine apple. But before we get to the swine apple episode, there's something else we want to make. It's called cowboy or country caviar, and we're going to make it over here. And what it is, is it is a bean and corn dish, which you're going to like because it's easy to set up, it's easy to make. Uh, however, what makes it really interesting is you have to make the day before so that everything makes nice. So, as you can see, we've got on front of us, got several different types of beans, right? I've got black-eyed peas, I've got black beans, I've got a can of Rotel, which is the... Uh, tomato and chili mix. I've got Italian dressing. Any brand will do. I've got some frozen corn that I've thawed out. And I've also chopped up a little bit of onion and uh, also a red pepper. You can also use green pepper. I'm just using red because it's a little more colorful. Let me show you how to make this. This is a very difficult procedure. So we take the black eyed peas, otherwise known as field peas, and bloom. And make sure you drain these before you put them in there. Then we go for the black beans, wham. Then next we're gonna throw in the corn. We're gonna add in, I'm gonna start off with about two thirds of that can of Rotel cause I'm not sure how much I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna push in my onions. Gonna push in my red pepper. And then last but not least, I'm gonna give it a nice little hit of Italian dressing. And what the hell, give it a little brewski. Never hurts anything, right? It's kind of like with the other, with the French chefs who are always using wine. So I figure, why not? We'll put a little bit of beer in there and mix it up. And again, this is something that you're gonna do by taste. So uh, if you wanna add a little more, you know, you can add some hot sauce. In fact, I'll, I think I'll use the rest of my Rotel in there, which is the chilies and the tomatoes. Maybe give it just another little tiny hit of the Italian dressing. And that's going to be an excellent side dish. I'm also going to make, along with my swine apple, I'm going to make a blast from the past, which I produced last season, which of course are my sweet potato fries, because those also go good with pork. So right now we're about midfield, so stand by, and uh, tomorrow morning I'll show you how to set up and smoke a swine apple, and we'll have us some fine football feast with man cave munchies.